Hi there again everyone, Josie here from Life is 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I have another waste basket DIY for you. And this one is actually a request on one of my videos. And I'm going to be creating a hanging light fixture and she requested that she can use either indoor or outdoors. Okay, so first we'll use one waste basket. So I'm going to make this in a white finish and you can certainly use the black one. So the Dollar Tree sells both white and black. And also I'm going to be using the hanging planter, the wire hanging planter. The Dollar Tree sells only the black ones. I have this, which I purchased at 99 cents only store. I'm using this so I don't have to spray paint. Okay, so here's how I'm going to be assembling it. I'm going to put this here and try to connect the two, okay, like this. But first, I'm just trying to make sure that the pillar candle I'm going to use can fit. This loops here, these holes where they had the chains connected, I will make sure that they're inside instead of outside the mouth or the opening of the wastebasket. Okay, and this is where my zip tie is going to come in. So the important thing is when you're doing your zip, make sure that this is going to end up inside. As much as possible, you don't want anything to show. So I'm just tying the zip ties through the hoop where the chains were connected earlier and then once that's done I'm cutting the excess okay, so this is how it's gonna look like I'm not gonna use it like this I'm gonna use it like this this will be my bottom this is gonna be the top and this is where I'm gonna put the chains it should fit in and I'm gonna be connecting it here it has a hole so I can just easily turn it on and off and then also access the place where there's the LED battery you can use E6000 if you want a permanent hold but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my handy dandy glue gun because the glue gun is easier to dismantle because especially if you're reusing things or just for some reason even if you replace the batteries stop working you can easily remove this okay so that's how it's gonna look like the chains that came with the planter is black and I don't have a spray paint I am going to create my own white chain link using paper clips that I have on stash and I would need 52 of this to create four chain links that I am going to be using on top of this light fixture so that it can hang. What I'm doing here is I am connecting the paper clips, 13 paper clips for one chain link and then I will repeat that three more times so I will have a total of four strands of chain links and this is okay because the fixture I'm creating is lightweight I wouldn't suggest this for anything heavier probably more heavy-duty paper clips that are really made of out of metals you can use but this one is sort of like plastic and it's still durable and I will show it to you once it's done so I'm just going to fast forward from here to complete the chain links. To ensure that the paper clips do not dislodge or separate from each other, I'm using a flathead plier here to tighten each of the paper clip, as you can see here. So I'm going to do a fast forward here as well. So just to show it to you up close how it's going to look like, 
it should look like this. I'm really interlocking each paper clip so that they don't get dislodged. So to connect all four strands of chains that I created, I am inserting first or using one paper clip and then I am also tightening it and then connecting each chain link on four sections. I'm just showing it to you here up close, hopefully you can see it. So this is the one paper clip that I'm using to hook up onto the top and then connecting the chain here and for all I will repeat the same step I'm going to be tightening it also with my plier so that it doesn't get dislodged. I am just going to repeat this three more times ensuring that there is enough space in between all four chains. So I'm going to go ahead and tie them all up together with the zip ties. Be connecting them all together here. Look, all four of them. See that? See this? Okay. Okay, I just want to show you undecorated or unblinked this is how it's going to look like if you just want it to be plain and i took the liberty of putting it on one of our shepherd hooks at our backyard and this is how it looks like in the dark outside we had to turn off the patio light and yeah it really glows and I'm thinking if you want to add fairy lights on the upper portion, you know, in the wastebasket portion, you can do that to add more brightness to the fixture. But I kind of like the dramatic effect on this candle on its own. So next, I'm going to be showing you how you can bling this and make it look glam. If you want to make it a little bit more farmhouse rather than glam, you can certainly use items like decorative rope, twine, or maybe ribbon that is made of burlap would make it more rustic or country or farmhouse style. So yeah, you can do that. I don't have to demo it for you because I'm going to let you use your imagination on that because... Um, I think that's very straightforward. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding embellishments, uh, making it a little bit more blingy. So I'm using this beaded necklace, you know, in silver. So I just cut the beads in half and I am attaching it onto this section here where the planter and the wastebasket connects. So I'm just making sure that I apply hot glue probably a few inches at a time and then I attach my beads. So I'm just gonna go repeat this and go fast forward again until I connected around this section here with this silver beaded necklace. What I'm doing here is that I am keeping the necklace connected. Since I have three more strands remaining, I'm just going to be putting all three in different sections, ensuring again that I have even distribution or even spaces in between them. So I'm using the hole here as a demarcation for me. Put some glue here. And you can enforce the other connection if you think that they're not strong enough. 
I was just being trying to speed up the process. Okay, so here. I'm gonna do it on the opposite end here. Just kind of eyeball it. Just eyeball the connection. Okay. So I'm going to put another one across. So here it is, how it looks like. Kind of like what I did is crisscross two necklaces. And then I'm going to put a third one to fill that gap at the center. So kind of like when you make an asterisk on paper, you put an X and you put one at the center. So that's kind of how I could describe it easily for you. Um, yeah, so there are three necklaces here that I didn't cut, unlike the one that I wrapped around on the seams of the basket and the planter. These necklaces are connected I kept them connected and I just looped them and made sure that I placed them in a location wherein they are evenly spaced so that they would look like very polished and, and the end product would look neat. Yeah, so this is how it looks like once it's connected. After I connected all the necklaces, I thought I'd be finished, but then I figured there's still something missing. I still want to make it look like it's really beautiful and finished well, and I could still see the seams, you know, the mouth or the opening of the waste basket and the planter uh, where they connected. So I've decided as an afterthought to connect or attach this bling wrap or I think they call it diamond wrap. They sell this at the Dollar Tree, uh, nine feet roll for a dollar. I would suggest though, probably do it first before you attach all the necklaces or the beads. And that way, you don't have to cut them in strips. I suppose I could have cut this longer, but I was just using the two pieces of scraps that I had left over from a previous project. What I've done here is that I cut them in strips that are three rows of gems similar to what you can get at the Dollar Tree so that I can be more in tune or in line with what the Dollar Tree can offer. So just so you could see the look when you use the Dollar Tree materials. And here it is how it looks like. I hope you agree that it gives it a better or more beautiful finished look. Now, I'm not quite done yet because I realized that I have a lot of embellishment at the bottom but not at the top, but I don't want to go over on this one too. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be attaching a strip of this glam ribbon on the top portion close to where the original bottom of the waste basket is located. And my apologies because it looks like I was out of frame on this one when I did it, but I'll show you the finished product so you know it's very simple to make anyway. Just plain diamond wrap, cut them, and then attach to the very top. Let me just try it and I'll hang it, okay? So here it is, the finished project. As you could see, 
the addition of the blings or the silver beads or beaded necklace as well as the glam or diamond wrap or ribbon made it look so glam and more finished you can use this indoors or outdoors as well if you have a covered patio if you have a gazebo this would look lovely in the middle and here's the piece the resistance this is the other finish or decoration that I'm thinking of will be good for a garden setting or even for a wedding or bridal shower baby shower a little girl's room I just put the white cabbage silk roses that the Dollar Tree sells as well I hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share leave some comments down below let me know what you think do you like the unfinished or the finished one what style would you like and I want to thank each and every one of you again for joining me here in my channel for your support and hope everybody is having a great day God bless everyone talk to you again in my next video bye bye